The next section uh, that we're going to actually uh, do is the uh, is the harness design section, how we can create wires and cables and, and also bundles. Uh, and in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to change your display configuration to that of the wiring, which is the number seven uh, assembly display configuration. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, bring in the components where we're actually can place the wires and as I zoom up on this you'll notice that we've already got some wires with a cable running through some hold, uh, some tie downs and through the frame uh, going over here to the control uh, panel. So let's go ahead and, and, and take a look at a wire harness and we'll look at a couple of different options for creating wires uh, within this particular assembly. So we've already changed our display configuration so what we want to do next is basically go to tools environment and select the harness design option which will take you in to harness design and give you uh, commands for creating wires cables and bundles in order to uh, create wires we have a couple of methods we have an automated method and we have a manual method I'm going to show you both of those methods so let's go ahead and get started by selecting the wire command when you do so uh, it will give you a triad so that you can actually create a path for the wire and lock to a, a reference plane or an axis. But in this case, we're just going to freehand uh, pull a wire out. You'll, you'll notice that you don't actually go to the front of the hole, but what you want to do is you want to go to the back of the hole and pull the wire out. And then what we're going to do, instead of worrying about routing it through the wall right now, we're just going to come right over to, and, and uh, roll the view up so we can see the bottom of this uh, um, component here. And I'm going to go into the bottom face uh, of that first hole and right mouse button click to accept. Now in this case, it's, uh, it's, we're going to place a 20 gauge solid copper wire. And for this particular wire, we'll go ahead and place the dark magenta and click on the preview button and then right mouse button click to finish and it will actually create that wire uh, path. We then want to create the second wire. We're going to create all three of them so I'm going to go to the back side of the hole again pull the wire out and I'm going to roll back over to the other side. This time we'll go to a different component and of course when you're going into a hole you pick the front side of the hole and then right mouse button click and then before you accept we'll change this. Let's go to a um, solid copper yellow and we will preview that and you'll see it turn the path yellow and then for the final one we'll go to the back side of the hole again scroll back over to our uh, where our components are on the uh, control panel and then go into uh, this last hole and for this one we can change it to a um, let's change it to gray and we'll go ahead and preview that now at any time uh, of course you can go in and look at the properties for these particular wires but before we do that you'll notice that the wires that we created three of them two, two different components going into a single component don't really follow any path they're just point to point what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to include them in a cable that would run through these hole uh, through the hole through the side in these tie downs so at this point I'm going to go to the cable command I'm then going to go to this side of the wires and select toward the uh, right side of the wire. You'll notice they, they highlight with a, a, a point. So get, get the same side on all three wires and then right mouse button click to accept. Now you're ready to build your cable path. And again, that's what the triad is for. But instead of using that, it's going to default to circular cutout locate. So I'm going to pick this first hole down here. Again, go to the first side. You notice it begins building this path then go to the next hole click to accept and then you want to go through this rubber grommet through the wall and then as we rotate you'll notice that I have a sketch here basically it's just to show you that you can use sketches or you can use cutouts but we need to change to key, loca key point locate and then just pick the circle and it'll go to the center of the circle and then right mouse button click and it will actually build the cable path now when you're done, if you click preview, it will actually take those three wires and put them inside of the cable using that cable path. Now in order to get a better idea of what this looks like, we can go to the Pathfinder and we can select the harness 
and then right mouse button click and select the create physical conductor which will actually create the physical wires themselves and at that point what I like to do unless you're going to make a change to the paths is I like to right mouse button click and hide all wires which hides those paths and I also want to hide um, sketches and also blue dots and of course you can add this to your shortcut menu if you'd want to hide those but you'll notice that it did create a uh, a cable and in this particular case you'll notice that those three wires the purple yellow and gray go into a cable now in this case the cable actually uh, looks like it's a little bit large so how do you change that well it's kind of a good idea to take to identify that particular cable and then edit its definition and this just kind of gives you an idea how you can go back in and make uh, some changes to it so if you go to the conductor step uh, that's fine uh, if you go to the path step we like the path but the actual cable we used is is uh, 10 10 slash 3 gauge so I'm gonna go to a 14 uh, 3 gauge and use a uh, solid copper white click on the finish button and you'll notice that the system automatically updates and changes uh, changes the the actual look of our uh, cable to something more uh, what would we could actually use with the right size that is so with that that kinda gives you a quick idea of how to quickly uh, how to create uh, some wires in this case uh, manually create wires and then create a, a cable a cable path and then apply those wires to that cable now let's take a look at a manual or excuse me an automatic method uh, of doing uh, wiring or wiring